Welcome to Electron Line. We've done problems before where we had to lift the cable up to a certain height, but what if the cable did not have uniform mass? What if the mass changed or the mass per unit length changed as a function of the position of the cable or where the cable is at? And that's the kind of cable we're dealing with. It is heavier at the bottom compared to the top. And the mass per unit length which is defined as a function of y, y is 0 at the top and 20 at the bottom of the cable here, can be defined as 1 plus 0.01 y squared, and of course everything will be in terms of kilograms per meter. The mass per unit length will be in kilograms per meter. So that's how the cable is defined, which means that at the very top, when y is equal to 0, the cable has a mass of 1 kilogram per meter, and at the bottom, when y is 20, 20 squared is 400 times 0.01, which is then 4. 1 plus 4 is 5. So at the very bottom, the cable has a mass per unit length of 5 kilograms per meter. And it's not a linear change. So how do we solve this problem? Well, again, we're going to find a small little dm right here. Now we have to define what that small dm is equal to. And then we're going to figure out how much work it's going to take to lift that small little dm a distance y to the top. So a small amount of work dw is going to be equal to a small amount of dm times g times the height to which we lift. It's mgh, but in this case it's a small dm times g times the distance y that we lift that particular dm, that small portion of the, of the cable to the top. But now we have to define dm. How do we define dm? Well, we can take the mass per unit length and multiply it times the length. The length of that is dy, so dm will be equal to the mass per unit length times dy, and the mass per unit length is defined as this. So this becomes equal to 1 plus 0.01y squared times dy, and that will then be Yes, that will then be defined as dm. Okay, so it's mass per unit length times dy, so mass per unit length times length, the lengths cancel, we end up with mass, and that's how the mass is defined for any small section along the cable as a function of y. So now we can say that the work done will be equal to the integral of all the small little dw's. We're going to add up the work done to, to take each little piece of that cable and lift it to the top. We're going to integrate from y equals 0 to y equals 20, and dw is defined right there. So this is equal to the integral from 0 to 20 of dm. dm is 1 plus 0.01y squared times dy. So this is your dm times g times y. So we can pull out the constant g. We can multiply the y times each of the two terms in here. So this becomes equal to g times the integral from 0 to 20 of y times 1, which is y, plus y times 0.01y squared. This becomes 0.01y cubed, and that will then be multiplied times dy. We can now go ahead and integrate that. So this is equal to, in the front we still have a g times y squared over 2, plus 0.01y to the fourth over 4, evaluated from 0 to 20. All right, let's see what we have here. Um, when we plug in the lower limit, we get 0, so we don't have to worry about the lower limit. When we plug in the upper limit, we get the following. g times y squared, 20 squared is 400 divided by 2, which is 200 for the first term. Plus, here we have 20 squared squared, so 20 to the fourth power. That would be 400 times 400. Let's do that on the side here. So we have 0 0.01 times 20 to the fourth power divided by 4, which is equal to 0 0.01 times 400 times 400 and divided by 4. Now 0 0.01 times 400 is 4, and 4 divided by 4 is 1. So this all cancels out to be 1. And then we have times 400, so that would be 200 plus 400. And so therefore this becomes 600g, 
And since G is 9.8, we get 600 times 9.8 equals 5,880 joules. 5,880 joules. And that's how much work it will take to take this variable mass cable and lift it to the top of this building, 20 meter long cable, the mass changes from one meter Per, uh, the mass changes from one kilogram per meter at the top to five kilograms per meter at the bottom. And that's how it's done.